Game number five. Oh, Notre Dame, what did you do last week? Mm -mm -mm. Uh, it, it was not good. It was very not good. Lost outright at home to Northern Illinois. You would think that this would be the bounce back spot, right? This would be the spot where, hey, all right, we were embarrassed last week. Let's go out and let's show somebody. I think Purdue is actually pretty good. That's, I mean, that can be terrifying, right? And so if Purdue is actually pretty good, then they are going to give Notre Dame all kind of problems. This thing was at 12 and a half when I created this spread, uh, when I created the, uh, the, the model. Uh, but it's down to nine and a half now. Oh, by the way, the time on this, 2.30 p.m. Central on CBS. It's uh, Notre Dame by nine and a half, a total of 45 and a half. Um, I've gone with a lot of dogs already. Probably going to go dog again here because I just don't trust Notre Dame. I, I don't think that Riley Leonard can throw the football. And, yeah, we talked about them in the game against Texas A&M. Oh, yeah, they, uh, they were able to not play bully ball, but they just made less mistakes. We'll say that. In this situation, I don't think, you know, Purdue's only played one game. But Hudson Card looks like he knows what he's doing. Uh, number 129 in penalties per game for Purdue. They had 11 penalties in that first game. Did not matter. Um, I mean, this is – Graham Harrell with a Hudson card has actually been pretty good. Like, pretty – not not terrible. How's that? And, and this year it's actually looking good. Um, and there's nothing on here that I like about Notre Dame, really. Uh, they were not able to stop the run very well against a and or really against uh, Northern Illinois. I, I don't feel good about this team whatsoever. The, I mean, they're number 100 in offensive line yards given up, number 88 in stuff rate. Uh, this was supposed to be a good defense. And the secondary is good. But if you can't get pushed up front, then that's a problem. And I don't maybe Purdue's not the team that will be able to take advantage of that. But I don't know. I mean, these Big Ten teams are they're pretty rough. They are pretty rough. So give me Purdue plus nine and a half. On this, I wish it was still double digits. You could still probably get a double digit out there, uh, but that's the way that I'm going to go on that one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.